Similar to Souls-like games, pairing in Valheim requires precision timing to pull off, but that is where the similarities end. In Valheim, timing is just one factor in its parry mechanic, a mechanic which is composed of several parts equally as important as timing your block. For instance, blocking power. It is a prerequisite to a successful parry. If the enemy's damage exceed your blocking power, you cannot execute a successful parry no matter how perfect your timing may be. In this video, I'll try to explain the important factors in the game's parry mechanic. And for that purpose, we are going to take a look at our shield stats, particularly block power, parry force, and parry bonus. Now, weapons can also block attacks and execute a parry if well-timed, but it is not advisable as it has a lower blocking power than the shield and it has to reset before we can do a counterattack after a successful parry. This is a very important factor as we will learn later on. Blocking power. This determines the amount of damage we can block. As stated earlier, if the enemy's damage output exceeds your blocking power, you will not be able to perform a parry regardless of your timing's accuracy. Additionally, you will take damage equal to the damage output in excess of your blocking power, not to mention it will take a good chunk out of your stamina. Now, I experienced this firsthand when I was testing the best way to fight a troll early game. I could never parry a troll attack with a wooden shield and with low blocking ability of 2 or 3 at that time, which led me to falsely believe that you cannot parry a troll's attack. However, when I upgraded to a bronze buckler and my blocking ability at 8, I could easily parry a troll's attack when timed accordingly. Now as with any skill in the game, you level it by utilization, so it might be a good idea to practice blocking in combat once in a while, but just make sure you have enough stamina for it. Parry force determines how strong the knockback and stun of your parry is. Not to be confused with a weapon's knockback, which is how much your weapon's attack stuns or repels an enemy. For short, the shield's knockback is defensive knockback, while that of a weapon's is offensive. The higher the parry force, the more powerful the knockback stun is. Now the last part before we move to parry timing is parry bonus. This is a damage multiplier if you successfully land a damage with your weapon while the enemy is still stunned by the parry's knockback. The number indicates how many times your base damage is multiplied upon successful hit. So for a times 2 parry bonus, you double your base damage and for times 3, it triples it and so on. However, aside from the knife which has a times 4 parry damage, all other weapons in the game only have a times 2 multiplier. Now as you can see here, my base damage with the sword is 22 and with the parry bonus damage, I deal double that amount at 41 to 44 damage. Now you will know you successfully engaged your parry bonus damage through an audio cue which is similar to that you hear when you level a skill. Parry timing. Technically, in order to parry according to the game, you need to engage the block button which is the right mouse button by default a quarter of a second before an enemy's attack lands. But screw that technical noise, all you need to do is look out for the visual cue. You notice all enemies in Valheim wind up before they attack, wait for it to reach its apex and when its arms start to go almost halfway down, that's when you trigger your block. This works all of the time even against higher tier enemies as long as you have enough blocking power for it. Spooky ramen, spooky ramen, spooky ramen, spooky ramen. 